Uh, hello everyone. Hope you are doing great. Today I'll guide you to create a customized material in SOLIDWORKS simulation. This is the CAD interface. Shall create. I have created a rectangular extrude. Enabling SOLIDWORKS simulation here. Create any of the study. Let it be static. And we get access to the material library here. Right click. There are some material properties here which we use in most frequent. But now we need to customize our material. So here you could get an access to the huge library. We have different types of materials here. Here we get an option to customize material. We have new category. And in new category again we have new material. Here you could see enabling it will open the customization where we get the model type which need to be isotropic or orthotropic and the unit systems which could be changed upon your comfort category and name could also be edited over here next thing is the default failure criteria there's a team criteria or research happened to know how the materials get to fail we have different types of criteria here to start with we have one me sister this is this states that the material under load should be equal or not greater than the yield of the limit of the material under the uni axial stress. And the Tresca criteria states that the yielding occurs in the maximum shear stress reaches a critical value. And the more Coulomb criteria assumes that yield occurs when the shear stress or any of the point material reaches a value that depends linearly on the normal stress in the same plane. So this is how uh, the criteria will be getting varied. Depending upon the requirement you believe you could choose any of the failure criteria. And then we have the material properties here. You could see there are some of the material properties which are embossed in it. That means that are the properties which need to be fed in as a mandatory. So to do any of the studies related to the structural analysis, these are the mandatory properties which you need to fill in. Just by double clicking on it, you get access to edit them. And adding to this, we have some of the properties like thermal conductivity specific heat and thermal expansion coefficient. This will be embossed in red if you get to select the thermal analysis. So it completely depend on, depends on you. If you te intend to run any of the studies or analysis of thermal related studies you could make use of these properties and you could customize the properties accordingly. If you go with the structural analysis you could make use of these properties which you could edit. And click on apply. You got, uh, the material will be applied. So this is how we need to create a customized material properties to our components in SOLIDWORKS simulation. Hope you all find it useful. Thank you all for now. That's all for now. Thank you all. Subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thank you.